I spoke to three students who were all crying and just emotionally distraught. One of them tells me her boyfriend saw the whole thing and tried to chase that suspect down. So we just looked over and we saw people laying in the street. A girl is dead. A loud banging noise. That's how these students are describing the deadly hit and run. You know, we, we think it's a safe place and, it, and apparently it's not. This student's boyfriend says he watched the whole thing happen. He was screaming and crying, um, trying to help as much as he could. But when he watched the driver speed away from the scene, he decided to follow the suspect. He, w he was screaming in the phone, you know, just I could hear his voice cracking. I could tell he was crying. She says he called her while they were right behind the suspect. Then the guy ran him off the road into a house. Police took the suspect into custody shortly after that. This was really scary. It breaks my heart that it was some of my classmates. It made me cry as soon as I heard about it. Reporting in more, Aaron Bue, KOCO 5 News. Yeah, that suspect had just hit those six students, then ran two football players off the road, and then he came here slamming into this car before finally coming to a stop over there where those orange marks are. I heard a loud bang. What Joe Gonzalez heard was the suspect speeding and crashing through his yard. I came outside and Saw a hubcap in the road. And a mailbox, glass, and even a taillight littering his front yard. And I noticed my son's car. That car now crumpled and smashed. So I was very shocked. The suspect had just hit the six cross country athletes, killing two of them, and run two football players off the road who were following him in their car. And there were some kids down there yelling at uh, the driver. It was the football players. The kids who caught him were like, hey, you hit kids. After the suspect smashed into the car and mailbox, he came to a stop here. Almost in shock. He just kept saying, I lost my son. I lost my son. The suspect, Max Townsend, lost his son in a car crash over the weekend. Fearing the suspect might get away, Joe got closer to him to make sure he wasn't going to run. I stayed with him till the police showed up. Joe and his daughter said the suspect wasn't acting normal and wasn't making much sense. Yeah, when those football players finally caught up to the suspect, they actually took the suspect's keys out of the ignition and then ran off with those keys so the suspect couldn't keep on driving. Reporting live in more tonight, Aaron View, KFCO 5 News, back to you. Yeah, that heroic football player is still very shaken up about what happened. He told me he followed that suspect to right here. You can even still see those skid marks there. Now, after he followed him here, he then took off back to where those six students were at. He knelt down and told them everything's going to be OK. He witnessed a girl die. Carly Glenn telling me yesterday her boyfriend was right there when a driver hit six more cross country runners, killing two of them. He was crying. He was screaming. I spoke to Carly's boyfriend on the phone today. He says as soon as he saw that driver take off, he and another football player jumped in their car and followed. He chased the person who had actually hit the, the kids. He then tells me at one point the suspect got so close to their car, they feared he was going to crash right into them. The guy ran him off the road into a house. The football players then jumped a curb and nearly ran into this house trying to avoid being hit. He was just like a wreck. Still not giving up, the duo then chased the suspect on foot. And after he crashed into this car and mailbox, they opened his car door and took his keys. They witnessed everything happen. Now knowing that suspect could no longer drive away, they ran back to where the students were hit to try and save them. He was screaming and crying, um, trying to help as much as he could. That football player tells me people were already doing CPR, so he just told each and every victim they're going to be OK. Now that football player tells me he's not sure if he'll ever be able to tell his story. He's still very traumatized, but he and that other football player are great examples of what this community will do for each other. Reporting live and more tonight here in view KOCO 5 news back to you.
Yeah, I talked to three students. They were all very tearful, very emotional. I mean, you can understand why. Well, one of those students says her boyfriend was there and saw the whole thing happened. Now, when he saw that suspect drive away, that man then decided to follow him. So this young student is now following that suspect and he followed him here into this neighborhood. Now, once that suspect realized that boy was following him, he then rammed him into an, a car, which you can, excuse me, into a house, which you can actually see behind me. You can see that student's car, which is just nose to nose against that house behind me. Now, his girlfriend tells me he called her and was just crying. He was so emotional after watching that suspect hit those six students. Again, one of them did die. Now he was so emotional and he decided to follow that suspect, which actually helped police. You know, police, like we've mentioned earlier, did arrest that suspect. He has been caught, but this young man did help them. He helped that process. He sped the process up because then police became aware of this that had happened. So we'll continue to give you details as we get more information on this, but reporting live and more tonight, Aaron Bue, KOCO 5 News, back to you.